Does anybody have any questions about what we presented so far? All the studies you just presented were on IBS in terms of uh, the, the, the Drossman study. Are there any such studies on chronic functional abdominal pain? There, re uh, there really isn't that much. You know, there's very little data on it because it's probably a smaller proportion of patients um, and not, I mean, there has, there's a definition, but the, it's a smaller proportion, and they're probably on a lot of medications, so in general, they're not studied as well. But they act fairly similarly to severe IBS. So it's fair to extrapolate. Yeah, know. exactly. Do you have a favorite of the SSRIs or SNRIs? Or? You know, I use SSR, when I use SSRIs is when I think that the depression or anxiety or obsessive compulsive or that type of aspect um, is driving their symptoms more in their pain. Because my impression, and also looking at literature, which you and I have reviewed recently, the data on the pain for visceral pain is not very good. Right. And my experience has been it's not very good. So if I really want to get at reducing pain and I also want a mood effect, I usually use an SNRI because it's going to do that. Because the tricyclic, uh, which I use a lot, um, at the lower dose, you're not going to really have a mood effect. So it depends on what you do. But you can start with one, and then you can add another. What, what about you? Same way, I, I, pretty much the same way. So usually you start with a tricyclic because the pain is the predominant component, uh, but if they have side effects, I'll switch over to an SSRI or SNRI, and, and their mood tends to improve, which is, which is part of the battle here. 